Three, and I am here to talk to you about the Hispanic Heritage Month, about Jose Barroso. <coughs> Jose Barroso was born in Puerto Rico in 1857. He attended the Jesuit school in San Juan, paving the way for him to go to college. After his high school graduation in 1875, he tutored the children of his father's employer to save money for college. His employer was a sugar plantation owner, and his and was impressed enough to help Barbosa make his way to the United States to further his education. Barbosa studied med medicine at the University of Michigan, and he graduated as valedictorian in 1880. His graduation marked the first person from Puerto Rico to graduate from medical school in the United States. After medical school, Barbosa was a member of the Red Cross and cared for soldiers during the Spanish-American War. Not only was Barbosa a prominent medical doctor, he was also a visionary. He had the idea that employers should pay a free should, should pay a fee to ensure medical care for their workers, much like modern health care insurance. He also developed the first credit union in the Western Hemisphere. Outside of medicine, he also worked to help others through um, involvement in politics. In 1899, Barbosa spoke out in favor of the statehood for Puerto Rico. He wanted Puerto Rico to have the same rights and responsibilities he had seen in the United States. To further promote his platform, Barbosa founded El Tiempo, the first bilingual newspaper in Puerto Rico in 1907. He was appointed the United States President McKinley to serve in the Puerto Rican cabinet from, from 1910 to 1917. During those years, he worked for citizenship for the people of Puerto Rico, and he finally accomplished it in 1917. He served in the Puerto Rican Senate from 1917 until he died in 1921. His people continued to honor Barbosa's work for, for Puerto Rico by celebrating his birthday each year as an official holiday. Thank you for your attention.